Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again. In this video, we are going to solve one cool exponential equation. Equation is x power x plus 1 whole square equal to x power x minus 1 whole square. In this question, we will see exponent properties. One known form that is a power b equal to 1, the cases. And then at last, we will discuss one very interesting thing about this exponential equation. So let's get it started. I will divide both sides by x power x minus 1 whole square, the right hand side. So once I will divide x power x minus 1 whole square both sides, then equation will be x power x plus 1 whole square divided by x power x minus 1 whole square equal to 1. Now one exponent property. Property number 1, x power a divided by x power b, we will write x power a minus b. So our equation will convert x power x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square equal to 1. Now we will talk about a power b form. Let me write here a power b equal to 1. Then there are three cases. We know the cases are a is equal to 1 and b belongs to real number. Then our solution we will get right hand side 1. Second if exponent the power is equal to 0 and base is non-zero. If base is also 0, then it will generate indeterminate form. The third case, if base is equal to minus 1 and its exponent belongs to E1 number. Minus 1 raised to the power E1, so always you will get 1. So these three cases we will calculate for this equation. You can think this is our a and the exponent is our b. Okay. Now let's say start by first case. So let me write first case. I am taking first one. a is 1. Our base is 1. Okay. Base is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1. Only need to check its exponent should be real. So let me put the value x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square. Once I will put x equal to 1, then 1 plus 1, so 2 is square minus 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1, so 0 is square. So that will value will be 4, which is real. That means x equal to 1 is our true solution. Case number 2. When base is 0, okay, let me put base 0. So base 0 means x equal to 0. Done. Now its power should not be equal to 0. So let us check. x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square. It should not be equal to 0. Let me check. x equal to 0. So 1 is square 1 minus x is equal to 0, minus 1 is square, so again 1, or you can write 1 directly. So that means this value is 0. So x equal to 0 should not be our solution. Let me consider the case 3, then we will talk about case 2. Case 3 is a equal to minus 1. So our base should be minus 1. Let me write x equal to, our base is x minus 1. Only need to check its exponent at x equal to minus 1 should be e1. So let me check minus 1 plus 1 whole power 2 minus minus 1 minus 1 whole power 2. This value should be e1. So 0 minus 2 whole square. So 4 minus 4. So ultimately value is minus 4 and which is e1. So x equal to minus 1 is also true solution. So x equal to 0 is in doubt. Now we will talk about this is the interesting case 
which I was talking about. If you will put x equal to 0 in the problem, in the given question, so let me put 0 power 0 plus 1 whole square equal to 0 power 0 minus 1 whole square. Okay, 0 power 1 equal to 0 power 1. 0 power 1 is 0. So that is true. So x equal to 0 should be our solution. Something is wrong in between. So what is that wrong? If you are dividing, if you are dividing by right hand side, that means your denominator should not be equal to 0. This is our case which we presumed here. x minus 1 whole square this value should not be equal to 0. Then only we can divide. So this consideration we have taken, that is why it is giving the wrong answer. Otherwise, if you will put x equal to 0 in the problem, it is satisfying. The left hand side you are getting, that is same as right hand side. So there are ultimately three solutions, x equal to 1, x equal to 0 and x equal to minus 1. But at x equal to 0, if you will check from this equation, from second one, then you will find it will generate 0 by 0 form. See that right hand side will come to the denominator. Let us put here x equal to 0. So 0 power 1 whole square, so that means 0. Come to the denominator, 0 power 0 minus 1 whole square, so minus 1 whole square is 1, 0 power anything. 0, 0 power 1 ultimately, so 0 by 0 form, form is indeterminate because you are taking rational form, originally the question was not in rational form, so we can put x equal to 0, let's cross check the values x equal to 1, x equal to 0, x equal to minus 1, all the 3 we will check, x equal to minus 1, check. Okay, minus 1 raised to the power, minus 1 plus 1 whole square equal to minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 whole square. Minus 1 power is 0. 0 square is 0. Okay, minus 1 raised to the power, minus 2 whole square. So top down exponentiation, top down approach we will apply, that value will be minus 1 raised to the power minus 4, that means minus, I will write 1 over minus 1, this is plus 1 over minus 1 raised to the power 4, 1 and see minus 1 raised to the power 0, 1. So LHS is equal to RHS. So that means x equal to minus 1 is our solution. This is true. Now x is equal to 1. LHS is 1 power 1 plus 1 whole square equal to 1 power 1 minus 1 whole square. So that value will be 1 power 2 power 4, 2 power 2 that is 4 equal to 1 power 0 whole square so 0. So 1 is equal to 1. This is also true. Now x equal to 0 if you will check. We have already seen. So 0 power 0 plus 1 whole square. Now it is not in rational form. It will This time you will get correct answer. 0 power 0 minus 1 whole square. Now see 0 power 1 whole square. So 1 equal to 0 power minus 1 whole square. So 1. So 0 equal to 0. So x equal to 0 is your true solution. So there are three solutions x equal to minus 1, x equal to 0, x equal to 1. I hope you liked and understood the concept. Please do subscribe my channel and give like impression also. Thank you so much for watching.